Inbox Business Technologies has signed an agreement with the government of Punjab for setting up computer labs in 1,111 higher secondary schools across the province. Under this program, a total of around 4,200 labs will be set up by the government of Punjab in schools and will be by far one of the biggest IT initiatives undertaken by the government in the education sector. The Punjab IT Labs project was initiated by the provincial government last year and is expected to be completed by the end of 2009. The government believes that this project will be the most significant step towards bridging the information and technology divide between the public and private sector education institutions. Using technology to tell stories is something that now everyone does flash presentations and all of this, but this didn't really exist back then in the late 90s. The CD-ROM that we did on Fez MFS as an interactive CD product, is, I don't think there's been anything like it. And I wish that we had the money or the investment to do more stuff like that because it really takes a long time to create content. When you want to make something outstanding, you really need to dig deep. So going off to Lahore and sitting at um, Salima Hashmi's house, digging through boxes and boxes of stuff that were photographs that weren't captioned, and then understanding the poetry, the context, the history, all of that, and making it making it something that people would, could relate to. And there was always this, this culture of you know becoming human first, and then doing other things. And being human meant exposure to all of these things. So we were a tech company, but always on the fringes. I remember the day the first CD writer arrived in the office when we had to sort of burn the final master for IBM. It was like this thing had arrived in the office and we all knew all in awe of it. The popular social networking site Twitter was the victim of a malicious hacker attack on the 6th of August. Facebook and LiveJournal also experienced problems. The site was not forced completely offline. Its search pages still worked. However, people could not send or receive new tweets or access the site directly. The topic was discussed at length afterwards on hashtag when Twitter was down. The aim of such malicious attacks is often to blackmail the site. Sometimes the owners are told that unless they make a payment, the attacks will continue. Gambling sites have often suffered attacks before major sports events and have been warned that more will follow unless they pay protection money.